It's nerdy newsy time again. This time, Crisis Edition. <laughs> Greetings, Comic Universe. I am Brian, and I am back to do another new nerdy newsy for you, and this time we're mostly talking about Crisis, and the many announcements that have been made these last couple days regarding it. But before we do though, really quick, I uh, want to bring up two related news articles. First one is, of course, we've got to talk about Mr. J has already talked, did a whole video about it, which you can go see. I'll try to put a card up, but I can't remember where it goes about this already, but Spidey's home. Spider-Man is back in the MCU, and oh boy, cannot be any more excited. And the date was also released, and it's going to be July 15th, 2021. It will be the film right after Doctor Strange 2, which I hope this means that we get to see more Doctor Strange, Spider-Man interaction, because I love the two of them and the cave. In Infinity War. But anyway, in related news, for those that might not know, Tom Holland is also attached to be in the Uncharted film based on the popular video game franchise as a young Nathan Drake. And honestly, I am all for it. But the problem is, is this seems to be cursed because... They can't find a director, or the director leaves. I wish they'd just get Favreau. <laughs> if he could take a break after doing the Mandalorian, because I think he'd do a really good job. But, uh, the current actor in talks now is the guy who directed Bumblebee, which has gotten a lot of great reviews, and is another successful action comedy adventure, so... Let's just hope this doesn't mean John Cena's gonna become Sully. <laughs> I kid. But anyway, like I said before, let's actually jump into Crisis, where we've got multiple stories. Uh, one of which is uh, Mark Guggenheim himself, kind of the godfather of the Arrowverse has come out and officially said that, uh, yes, they were in talks to bring Saga L from Krypton with that actor into Crisis, but the scheduling just never worked, which, thanks again, sci-fi. But, Anyway, also sad news, Michael Rosenbaum, a.k.a. Smallville's Lex Luthor, and Flash in the, young, uh, the Justice League cartoon, has officially come out and said that yes, they offered him a role in Crisis, but he turned it down. And I could be wrong, but I believe the reason why was because they wanted him back as Lex. And he said that he'd never do that again. That he'd be open to coming into the Arrowverse at some point, but not as Lex. Uh, if you guys know fellow online entertainer Erod, the blockbuster buster, posed the idea of why not have him come back as the animated version of The Flash, and I would so be for that. I know it's never going to happen now, but that would have been really cool to see. 
also, Michael Rosenbaum could have made a good Flash villain, but they probably will never do that. So, let's move on to, from sad news to maybe news? Because reports are going around that we already know Linda Carter is coming back for Crisis. And now the rumor going around is that she will be reprising her Wonder Woman role as an older Diana. And honestly, I'd be so for it. I mean, if you see her back in Supergirl, she still is doing alright for herself. And so that would be cool to see. Also, it would be interesting if they paired her with Bruce Wayne. But anyway... The older Bruce Wayne confirmed for Crisis. Now for actually confirmed things for Crisis. Brandon Routh, who we knew was coming back not only for Crisis as Adam, but as Kingdom Come Superman. Well, we officially got our first look at him, which, oh my god, would you look at him? He looks so cool and so good and so comic accurate. But also in the same vein, Brandon Routh shared on social media a picture of Dark him. Like him as Superman in like a dark look that gives you like an ominous feel. So that makes me think it's Kingdom Come Superman not going to be good. Or is Brandon going to be playing three characters? The mystery of Crisis continues. And the new names keep coming in. Because it was also confirmed that Huntress from the Birds of Prey short-lived TV show. The Huntress from that will be in Crisis. Like, same actress. Which, I like the actress, so awesome, and I liked her portrayal of the character, awesome. The show wasn't the best, but I can't wait to see her. And finally, the biggest, well for me, and like, most unexpected news was Crisis will be the debut of the Arrowverse version of Ryan Choi, the second Adam. Which makes sense, considering that we previously found out that the Ralphs, Ralphs are both leaving Legends this season. So maybe he's coming in as their replacement. Which would be interesting, and I would so be for it. We also now know the actor who's going to be playing Ryan Choi. And if I murder this name, I'm sorry... Oshrik Chow. You might know him better from his other big nerdy role. Kevin Chang from Supernatural. Yes, Kevin Chang is going to be Ryan Choi. And I, for one, am super excited. I'll be sad to see Ray and Nora go, but if this is his replacement, it's bittersweet excitement for me. But anyway... I will end it there Say thank you guys for watching. What did you think about these news stories? What did you think about a ner nerdy newsy where I didn't just do two stories? Also, thoughts on Christ so far? Is there any announcement that you've been wanting? I know I, for one, have been really wanting Justin Hartley to come back as Oliver and maybe even get the dude who played Ray Palmer in the made for TV movie that was supposed to be a TV show but it was so bad that it flopped uh, Justice League of America version of him I think it would be cool to see him but anyway um, let us know everything in the thought stem in the comments down below, not thoughts. Uh, again, thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you again 
in the U-verse, in the universe. Sorry, I'm still new at this. Till next time, and beyond.